So hi, welcome to this quick tips tutorial about the toolbox. Uh, I hope there's a, a few things in here that you might discover. Uh, I found out one thing here that I didn't know, or actually, you know, two things I didn't know about. So let's uh, dive straight in. But first of all, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell. It's always nice of you to do that. So let's dive straight in here. Now, first of all, to bring up the toolbox, just hit T and it will come up wherever your pointer is. So if you're over here, pick it up there, over here, over here, and it'll just come up. Okay. So let's start with the pointer tool. Of course, everyone knows what the pointer tool does. You just can move stuff around and point with it. Um, also, you can go over edges and there'll be different functions that will come up as well. So then if we go up into the toolbox, which is up here, I can bring it down the, exactly the same way as just hitting T. Okay, so let's go down to the first uh, tool, which is the pencil tool. Now, pencil tool is pretty useful for drawing in MIDI notes. So you can just move that there, hit that one there, there, and there. And then you can double click on that. And inside here, we can pick up the pencil tool here and just draw in MIDI notes like so. Then the next tool is the eraser tool. We all know what that does, just erases stuff, which is, you can do either different ways to doing that. The text tool is for renaming, really easy. Then we've got the scissor tool, that's for cutting. Now you can say you can do that with other things, but the thing that's really useful about this is if, say you want to cut here, you hold down out at the same time, and that will divide everything. So divide a whole region by the actual division that you select there which is really really useful sometimes so that's what the scissor tool for me is good for because just cutting you there's other ways of doing it which are a lot quicker like the uh, marquee tool then of course you can select these and glue these this will make a continuous region so I make a new file basically we won't do that you can also do that here with join and then we've got the solo tool which is pretty cool because then so you've got a whole track here you just want to listen to this part here or this part here so you can scrub with it but you also if you hold down out pull to the right that will play the track or the bass track then you've got the mute tool which is pretty obvious what that does uh, just mutes regions and stuff. Then the zoom, same thing, just pull over and pull back like that. Just really easy as well. You can also bring that up with the uh, holding down. If you're in the pointer and you hold down out, then that will also do a zoom. And um, so after zoom, we've got the fade tool. So obviously that's the same as here. Just do that and fade in from the side. Then you've got the slow down. So instead of it fading out, it will slow down. Or you can then bend it to make it a slightly different as well. The fade as well, if you want to fade out slower or faster or on a different kind of way of fading out. Then we have the automatic select tool so let's open up some automation then you can just select parts and then move them all to, together it's quite useful you can also do that with the pointer but this is a bit more it's easier to do with this kind of just moves the bits that you want uh, then you've got the automation curve tool which is quite cool so you can just then curve the automation which is something you might want to do and uh then we have the marquee tools, one of my favorites, which is I use all the time. So marquee tool, you can select, say from here to here, then just hit delete on your keyboard. You can just select, say a region here and then repeat that, which is command R. Then I repeated to see the blank space with the actual file. So that's really, really good. If you've got a lot of complicated stuff and you want to copy it down, and you kind of want it to go say from here to here i would just go like that and then it, there it is instead of having to 
select this and then pull it over so that's pretty useful and then we have the flex tool now this is uh, pretty cool as well so let's just make this a little bit bigger here now what you can do here is, is flex a certain part of the song so that just calculated and it just you can just select say a note and flex it like they go across like this and just go back don't need that so there you have the uh, main tool section of course here you've got the secondary tool here so if I select say the marquee tool that I've got selected and then I just if I go back to the pointer here if I, I just bring up the secondary tool by hitting command so then I've got that straight away of course you know about that we've talked about that before so yeah so there you have um, some tips on the tools hope there was something in there that you didn't know already if you like this video like subscribe hit the notification button and leave some comments and i will see you soon ciao